Hey Commodore fans, John Holnack, President of Gulf Coast State College here. You know, our country is facing a really difficult time right now, and uh, the world's a really complicated place. The one thing that I know for sure is that um, it's impossible to hate people that you know. So uh, you're seeing it happen on television, you're reading about it in the newspaper, you're seeing people that are doing nonviolent protests to get together and talk about what they know is wrong, what we all know is wrong. And um, in the process of doing that, they're getting to know their neighbors. They're getting to know people they've never met. They're getting to know people that aren't like them. And when that happens, it makes it impossible to hate people. Education is another way to make sure that, that you understand about how the world works and, and all the different complexities that it, it takes to make up the human race. And once you find out more about people from other places who do things differently than you do, it makes it impossible to hate them. And so I would ask you during these, these challenging times for our country, for our state, for our community, did you look for opportunities to find commonality with other people that aren't necessarily like you? I promise you we're all way more alike than we are different. And uh, we also all know what's right and we know what's wrong. And let's make sure we always stand up for what's right. Today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, some other opportunities at Gulf Coast State College. Many of you may not realize it, but uh, if you saw a lot of pictures, uh, videos, uh, news reports, press conferences after Hurricane Michael, uh, you might recognize the background that I'm standing in. Uh, I'm standing in Bay County's Emergency Operations Center, but what you may not know is the Bay County Emergency Operations Center is actually located on Gulf Coast State College's North Bay campus, and this is actually a classroom that I'm standing in. It is the Incident Command Center. Should we have another emergency like a Hurricane Michael or any one of a variety of other kinds of uh, disasters or calamities that might occur, but um, uh, it was designed to be able to stand up to a direct hit by an F5 tornado at 250 miles an hour. Uh, it kept the decision makers in the um, who were responsible for helping get the community through a Category 5 hurricane hit, uh, kept them safe and secure. Uh, I walk around this building now and it, it's, a, it's a nice classroom building. It's hard to uh, imagine um, and even a little hard to remember that there were three or four hundred people living and working in this building right after the hurricane hit. And um, uh, it's part of our college's mission to be um, uh, good stewards of the state's money, good stewards of your money, and also to be able to take care of our community. We want to be a good community partner. So some of the things that you can do on this campus, if you want to be an emergency medical technician or a paramedic, you'd take classes on this campus. If you want to be a law enforcement officer, the basic uh, law enforcement standards class is taught on this campus. If you're interested in working in um, the criminal justice system, maybe you want to work in a prison or the jail, uh, there are great opportunities for jobs with uh, excellent benefits and you get that training uh, here at the North Bay campus. Uh, we're working with a variety of partners on expanding our offerings in the emergency management and first responder arena. So make sure that you, um, if that's something you're interested in, make sure you stay in touch with the people at the North Bay campus uh, and talk with them about some of the exciting new programs we have. Uh, one other one I should have mentioned is firefighting. If you uh, always wanted to be a fireman, uh, this is where your first stop would be in order to learn how to uh, acquire those skills and become a hero every day. We'll be starting uh, classes face-to-face -face again soon. Uh, just, uh, I think tomorrow the governor releases the state to go to, most of the state to go to phase two of his return to work plan. And we're working through the final uh, stages of our planning to make sure that we provide a safe and secure environment but you'll be getting notification shortly from your instructors on when it'll be time to return to the classroom if you're taking a face-to-face -face class remote learning now. Uh, if you're in a traditional distance learning class um, that doesn't have a set time for meeting, uh, nothing is going to change with that at all, but what, what you'll be looking at is those where you know that your class meets, uh, let's say, Tuesdays at 10 o'clock, you'll know uh, that that course is gonna be going back to face-to-face -to -face as, as soon as we can get there. And based on the governor's actions, it should be in the relatively uh, near future. Um, Commodores, I want you to stay, stay safe. I want you to stay healthy. 
And as I mentioned at the beginning of this talk, um, reach out to some other people that aren't like you and learn about them and let them learn about you. And let's always, always stand up for what we know is right. Thanks.